Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon, and this is Monster Rancher Battle Card GB. We're in the middle of a fight against a mochi in the something ruins. So Sochi? So sucker? The sucker ruins. Where I think we're gonna get a pixie at the end of it. But either way, uh, the mochi there is being a pain in my ass, so we're gonna bite his face off, and hopefully we actually succeed. <sighs> I'm not out of a minute yet, so I can't swear as much as I would like to. But boy, I am- I'm very perturbed at the mochi. Okay, we're gonna keep bite, we'll burn the rest, and then we'll try it again in the next one. Yeah, no defense card available. Uh... Luckily, this isn't a guardian, so if, if we lose- ah, oh, frick. If we lose the fight, I don't think it matters. I don't think we're going to lose a, um, a dungeon counter, so I think we can stay in. Well, this is fine. We'll just set the mochi on fire. Oh my god! With your defense cards! Let me kill the mochi, please! Oh. Well, that worked out. I mean, getting the golem out of here is good. Okay. I'll just burn the other cards that- uh, yeah, seven guts. Let's burn them. Okay. Scratch, kick, lie down. I mean, kick the mochi? We'll do a little chip- Oh! My god! Mochi! Please! Please stop dodging! You've done like four different dodges in this one fight. I so desperately want to drown you in a toilet. Okay. That's it. We'll just- wait, don't I have a- yeah, we'll keep lie down. Because we have eight guts, so... Help. That's fine. No, I'm not gonna burn a defense card for that. Or use a defense card. Burning would be discarding. Okay. Can... Wow, I got nothing. Um... I don't want to do the chip damage. These two will definitely be burned. We can we can play a little aggressively because we've got the advantage. So I'll burn jump and lie down and spin it. Yeah, I'll just burn all four of these. That's fine. I can't defend against that one anyway, because mochis are jerks. <sighs> oh, that's gonna suck. Well, there goes my golly. Alright, now we've got a problem, because my power hitters are gone. Oh, and all I can do is chip damage. Oh shit! <laughs> this is a problem. Okay, well, the advantage here is I can kill shot the dino on the next turn if I have to. Um, but I have so many guts that I can't do anything with. Mochi, please. Please, Mochi. Please. I do have one powerful... Yeah, no, I, I can't do shit. Okay, we'll just use that against the dino. That at least gets him off the field. And I've got enough guts that I don't need to burn all my cards, so I'll keep all of... Oh, yeah, let's use this. That works. It's chip damage, but better than nothing. Okay. So we'll only burn non-tiger cards here on out. That's fine. Can't do anything about it. Okay. Okay, there's my combo. So let's mango up the tiger just in case this misses. Because he's got a card in his pocket. So knowing him, he's got some sort of horseshit dodge that I'm gonna have to deal with. Yup. You. Ugh, Mochi. Holy crap, Mochi. 
You are everything that's wrong with society today. <sighs> I'm almost out of cards, too. So I've got to be really careful here. He still, pro he still has something. Like a dick. Okay. Let's go for the charge, because that would be a kill shot if it works. Oh my god. I hate him. I hate him so much. Guys, you have no idea. Someone's got to come to Ohio, into my apartment, and hold me back, because I'm about to jump through this reality and go strangle the goddamn mochi with my bare hands. And we're not burning any cards, because we don't have enough cards to burn. We'd lose. So, no burning. Oh my god. I hate you so much, Moji. I'm gonna have to manage my card count really carefully here because of how little I've got left. Because I could kill him. I can't use more than three cards. So... Okay, I have three right claws. Alright, so we'll use horn... And right claw. That's still not a kill shot, but I can't kill shot him on this turn. Okay. And since I only use two cards, I'll be safe. Unless he takes me out. So, that's all I can do. No, n no discard. What if I just never hit a button? What if this is just the rest of the series? I'm just gonna sit on this screen for the rest of my life. <sighs> that sassy little fucking pose. I hate you so much, Moji. I lost Tail Lash, and that's it. Okay, well, fucking, that's it? That's all I lost out of that? I mean, that's why I have backups. Wait, I have a third bite card? Wait, what the hell is Tail Lash? Oh my god, why do I have so many Tail Lashes? Fuck that. We need more tongues. Yeah, we need, we need heavier attacks. What am I even doing? Uh, I'll even get rid of the other one and take a lick instead. What? Wow, I haven't I haven't checked my cards in a while. All right. Anyway, that's fine. Um, so it goes. Uh, yeah, I still have three counters down there. Okay, so I only lose counters when I get smacked around by a guardian. All right, that's fair. Um, rather than taking the stairs, I want to explore around and get some treasure. You know, I do this a lot in games anyway. First time I go to a dungeon, I play everything out, so why not? Okay. Whew. I'm, I'm feeling the anger leaving my body. Alright. I can't do much here. Oh, if all three of these land, that's a kill shot. Let's do that against the dino. Because the mochi gets has free horse shit. And that's more power than necessary against the mochi. God damn it. Well, you know what? The positive there is I made him burn his guts that he had. So he's not going to be able to... Hit me with anything else. Like, he'll have to skip his turn. Unless he's got free moves. Okay. So now... Okay, Holy Ray is undodgeable. So fuck you, Mochi. That's who I'm gonna have to use all my non-dodgeable attacks on. And come to think of it, um, I need to check my card stock and see if I have... More... Holy Rays, because I need to use those for this fucking reason. Alright, we'll keep that. We'll keep one back roll just in case he attacks me. Oh, can't do anything about that. Okay. Now it's time to feed Nisi. 
Yeah, she's watching me from her cat hotel, and she's like, hey, are you going to feed me? One damage? No, I'll take it. I need to keep, I need to retain this dodge card for something worse. Okay. Um... Six damage. Okay, I will burn... These three. Yeah, so I could back roll and use tongue if I have to. But he doesn't have any guts, so he can't attack me, probably. Oh, fuck you, Mochi. Alright. God, I swear more whenever there's a Mochi around, too. That hidden score that YouTube gives us for the our sweary bits and our videos are just, like, they're... <sighs> oh, God. I hate him so much. Okay. If the Mochi does have hide cards, he probably can't use them if there's no one else on the field, right? Because he... clearly the way that card works is another monster takes damage for him. So if the opponent has hide cards, then if the Mochi is the last one on the field, the hide cards become useless. Which would just help me out. Okay, we're gonna just tongue the dino. Good. That gets him off the field. And they lost their guts. Why? Guts 5, damage 6. The skill cuts enemy breeder guts by 3. Oh! Because I'm licking. Alright, that makes sense. Do I want a mango? No. I need the guts too bad. I'm gonna keep back roll, but... The longer the fight goes, the less the tiger matters, I've noticed. So, I want to keep my dodges early for him, but... Okay. This is probably not gonna work, but this is what I was saying in the last episode or possibly the episode before. This is where having the tiger really helps out because I can use left claw and horn. Even if that doesn't do anything, at least I'm saving up my guts this turn. And then I can burn jump and tongue. Or even just jump. And then I'll have enough guts to do tongue on the next turn. And I wouldn't be able to do that if these attacks weren't free. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna try to kill shot the mochi, but it probably won't work. Unless he has hide, in which case we will take the golly down to one hit point. Oh, he didn't have any defense cards. Good. Fuck you, mochi. And your mom. Actually, never mind, because that would imply that we're gonna get more mochis out of the deal. And we never want more mochis out of the deal. Okay, so we burn jump. Even though it's more helpful than back roll. Um, we we're just trying to go for the win here. Okay. Yes. We'll just go for this, because if it lands, great. Nah, that's fine. That's fine, because he doesn't have that many of those. And it seems, at least for me, for my golly, he doesn't have that many defensive cards. So eventually that's going to catch up to him. Um... We'll keep back roll. I, I still want to protect my tiger. Oh, all right. Uh, can't do anything here, so same deal. We'll just burn him. That oh, way I have seven guts to work with. That's fine. That's fine. Kick the Swayzo, I don't care. You guys realize that I'm never using the Mochi, right? Like ever, like ever. I don't care when I get that card. I don't care how helpful it'll be. I will never use a Mochi. I don't care if he's OP, I don't care if he's the best damn card ever, we don't use him. Alright, so, free attack to you, that's okay. We're forcing you to burn through your defense, you only have one more left at most, and then you won't be able to stop me no matter what I do. He may have a reflect, which I have to keep in mind, but we have a lot of physical cards here. Like here, I would rather just keep these two cards. 
I don't want to use them now. Well, that only put me down to five gods. Yeah, actually, never mind. Yeah, let's just beat up on the golly, because he can't stop me. We have zero... He has... He has zero guts, so... I may as well slam him now. Okay, good. And no discarding. Yeah, now we have flame, so that'd be a kill shot. Um, let's just use right claw, we'll see if we can chip him. Because if he dodges it, then he'll be out of dodges. And then we can just use flame. He didn't dodge it, so he's probably out of defenses unless he has a re unless he has a reflect. Oh, we can just fucking kick him because he can't reflect that. Oh, he did have a lie down. Okay, that's fine. That's fine because now he's out of lie downs, so he can't stop me with from against physical attacks. He could still stop me from magic attacks. So we will burn the flame. I'll keep help. Because I'm kind of running out of cards here, so I need to be a little careful. Oh, charge. Perfect. Yeah, just fucking light him up. Yeah, you can't stop us. <laughs> <sighs> that was exhausting. Alright, I'm going to go feed my cat. I'll be right back. I'm on the second floor of the Sakai Ruins now. And things are going okay so far. Oh, wow, we already found the stairs. No, I don't want to go down. The Guardians don't seem to be hurting me that badly, and they keep giving me pixie cards, so I almost want to just fight them. Yeah. I bet once I enter a guardian room, they just start pathfinding to me immediately. Because it seems if I just stand there, they will approach. And so if I want a pixie, and I want to, then I want to get as many pixie cards as I can, which means I should be fighting every guardian I come to. In theory, it's a risk move? Because it's like... Not... Yeah, I guess in theory it's a little risky because you know, if you fight every guardian but then you start losing to them, you're going to get kicked out. But, you know, that's the risk you take, and I'm still generally winning, so why not? Even if I lose the odd match here or there, this is what I need to do. I'm also already thinking of synergy, because, like... So, if I'm thinking ahead, if ultimately I want a Naga in my team... Nagas are expensive, especially with their counters of three... that cost three gods. But if a Pixie's attacks are cheap and free, and I'm my Tiger is cheap and free, then all of my Guts can go to my Naga, who can be the power hitter. So there should be some balance and synergy among that trio. And even now, if I get a Pixie, I want to keep the Tiger in the team because of his cheap attacks. My Golly is a bit more expensive with his attacks, but I could get rid of either the Golly or the Swayzo and be okay. I just don't want to get rid of my Tiger, because that way I can keep cheap attacks. Anyway, I'm talking theory crafting too much. Um, but I'm like I'm I'm really enjoying this game, and that is why I'm theory crafting so much. I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I didn't expect that I would enjoy this game this much. And the the first episode I was still a little wary. Um Oh, I can't do anything about that. You dick. You just took out my Swayzo. Um, because these kinds of card games aren't usually my thing. But as I've talked about in another episode, or maybe it was this one, the simplicity of it is something I really enjoy. And it's really easy for me to understand. And so... Uh, I don't want to get rid of both of my defense cards. Ugh... He's really put me on my heels from the start. Well, but we're even, so... Okay, I definitely don't need all three, so let's just get rid of one. Go after my... Yes, thank you. Whew. That's a lot of guts he just lost, too. That, see, that's the downside. That's another synergy I'm thinking. If I have, like, a Naga and a Golem... 
they will have so strong of attacks, they will just burn through guts constantly. You probably can't operate that many extreme heavy monsters because you won't be able to burn enough guts to keep all of them fed for their attacks, for lack of a better word. Okay, so we will kick the Swayzo. The problem with my Tiger is he doesn't have any heavy attacks, so that Golem is going to be a pain in my ass. Um, so I guess we'll again keep the defense cards. Okay. Back roll dodges everything, right? Yeah. So this is survivable. He won't be able to attack next turn. But the Swayzo doesn't have that much left, so I think this is okay. I will accept the hit. Because I would rather dodge something that would kill him. Especially since the golem has so much power. Oh, and now... Okay, so now he's put himself in a position where he can't even attack me. Um, we'll do this to chip down... You, because if I get a scratch, then I can take you out. I'm going to keep both back rolls. We can burn... We can burn this. I'm having to play really defensively now. I'm basically hoping to get... Oh, wow, he burned all his cards again. Okay, there's Flame... Okay, I'm going to burn my jump and my lie down, even though I like jump because my counterattack is then stronger. I need the cheaper back rolls right now. And I have enough to use flame unless they take out my sway my uh, golly in this, uh, this round. Oh my fucking god, they took out my golly because I don't have a lie down. Holy shit, he hits so strong! Wow, those golems. And now I am real fucked. <laughs> I am so super fucked. <laughs> oh, I gotta get the Swayzo out of there so this is at least one-on-one. -on -one. See, I don't wanna... I don't wanna use all my attacks... Well, wait a minute... Horn and Left Claw and Right Claw, I think, is a 7, so I could take out the Golly. And I would still have back roll to dodge whatever the Swayzo does. I meant Golem, not Golly. And then, yeah. I wouldn't do this if I had any thought, or if there was any chance he could block it. But this is my play. Yeah, so that kills the Golem. That's what I need right now. And then I'll be able to dodge whatever he throws at me, and then I just need any attack. Any attack, because the Swayzo would not be able to dodge it. Yes. Oh, this is coming right down to it, baby. This is a good match. See, up, he's spitting. That's fine. We back roll. And now everything hinges on the heart of the cards and whether I get an attack out of this next draw. No, but I did get a jump, so I'm still okay if he does a power attack. Okay, let's do that. Ooh, do I need the mango? I don't know if the mango would help me. Well, now it's too late. Well, yeah, fuck it. Let's just burn these three. It's too late because I've already just um, passed my turn, but that's okay. He's biting. Okay, perfect. So we jump. So again, heart of the cards, baby. I need an attack of any kind, and it's double damage now. So even if he eats a mango, I could take him out. Come on. Heart of the cards. Any attack. Oh, he lost all his defense. No, there's no attacks on the field. Okay, mango. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, at least I have the back roll again. That will allow me to dodge anything he throws at me. Okay, he mangoed. That's fine. <laughs> He's down to only two cards. I still have my back roll. You know what I'm gonna do? Because I don't have the power advantage, right? Yeah, that still wouldn't be a kill shot. So... Because he'll lose in one more turn. So I'm going to just do nothing. I mean, I'll burn... Spit. It, like, it doesn't matter which card I burn. I'll burn one so I don't have to discard one. Um... Oh, clever girl. Okay, go ahead and do it. That's okay. You can chip me, because I'll be able to dodge your follow-up. No matter what it is, I'll be able to dodge your follow-up. Oh, you weren't able to! Ha ha ha, you asshole. I can't take you out either, but I can chip you. And then on the next turn, you're going to lose because you have no cards to draw. And I still have my dodge. Yep, so I'm just going to not discard anything. Opponent can't draw you win. I'll take it, man! That's still strategy! I bet you there's a meta, a deck of some kind, that you can assemble that, that like, just robs the other po opponent, or robs your opponent of cards. I'm pretty sure Magic has one of those, right? There's gotta be something... Where, okay, so here, yeah, I just walked back in because I wanted him to attack me. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a few magic decks that are all about that kind of horse shit. That all you're doing is just debuffing your enemy, basically, your opponent, and discarding all his shit. And so you wind up winning by a technicality. Because who cares, right? As long as you win, none of the rest of it matters. Okay. So I'm already at my first question. Do I keep these holy rays against the mochi? I think I should. I think I should save up my holy rays to fight the mochi. Um, so, okay, on this turn we'll spit on the mochi. And then I'm going to sacrifice one of my back rolls. See, this is such a different game immediately. Because if this was the last match, I'd need to keep these back rolls due to my tiger being the last and only line of defense. But now I'm going to keep... I, I'll be able to burn one because I've got the rest of the monsters here. Um, we'll also burn tongue. This gives me enough that I can do holy ray on the next turn and finish the mochi off unless he gets healed. Because we don't want him doing... All of his dodging horse shit. Uh, ye that's a heavy hit. <sighs> okay, what does dodging get me? I'm going to still survive the attack, and if I do the dodge, then I won't be able to holy ray the mochi out of existence. So I will accept your hit, I will pass my defense. Now, if they're going to follow up and kill him, then I'll dodge, but... Oh. Yeah, like that. God damn it, Mochi. I don't want to trade monsters, so I will dodge that one. But my other two monsters are going to eat it, so it goes. So, if we get Tail Lash, then I'll be able to take the Mochi out at the risk of him dodging the attempt. Oh, he took away all his uh, cards. Okay. Um, okay, so that changes things. So now we'll take the mochi out this way. Even though that's a three damage and I should do that to the hair to take the the stronger monster out, I don't want the mochi around. Because all of his 
defense has caused me Ajina. Um, and now we can burn these three cards because I've got an advantage. Even if they take the tiger out, which they're going to do here, I assume? No, he's going for the Suezo. That's actually the right play because the Suezo hits harder. And he had a kill shot on the Suezo. That makes sense. Oh, now he's... he's <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's that's even better. Damn, dude. Um, oh, we've won the match. Because I can horn the hair. And then I can flame the pixie. A thunder the pixie. And that's that. Cool. Okay, well, there's another victory. We'll pick up some pixie cards and keep going down this dungeon. And... If the... <laughs> If the game surprises me and they're like, hey, you know all those pixie cards? Well, too bad. Here's a fucking Dullahan. I'm going to be upset, but I believe I understand how this game how this game works now. So that'll do it for today. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow for another episode. Remember to view it, share it, and all that shit, because I look at the numbers in order to know whether to do another batch. Bye, guys.